Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of unboxing and also talking about the mini lathe again. So a lot of interest in the mini lathe, and as I got thinking more and more about it, uh, it kind of makes a lot of sense to revisit some of the stuff regarding that and how I used that in the shop. And uh, so I figured the best place to start is actually with this. So one of the things, again, I haven't used the lathe in a while outside of, you know, maybe, you know, a couple times a month to cut some bushings or something like that. Uh, but, you know, if I want to get back into using it kind of seriously again, one of the things that I wanted to do and thing that you guys need to do is really get a quick change tool uh, set up. So I went to Amazon and I picked this up super cheap, under 40 bucks. And this is this is really crazy for under 40 bucks. Um, and, and one of the things I wanted to do is kind of talk with you guys uh, about how this works. Because I think there's a lot of confusion, especially if you're new to, to Lays, and that how a quick change tool setter works, why you would want one, how to set it up. So I'm going to do a bit of a two-parter here. So we're going to do an unboxing and talk about this guy. And then in the second part, what we're going to do is actually go over to the Harbor Freight Mini Lathe and install this. And you'll get to see firsthand how easy it is and how it's done. So one of the first things that I want to talk about is actually this piece. This is sort of the carriage. Uh, and you notice it has two, two small pistons. And the idea behind these pistons is they cam into these tool holders. So these are the tool holders you have. This is your main body with the pistons, and this is the cam mechanism that will mount to your machine. And you can see how it's cammed right here to uh, actually push on these pistons and, and, and engage them to lock these in place. Now, uh, the one piece I want to mention is a lot of people think you, you, the, the idea behind this is the flip. It's really not. This side is for cutting, this side is for boring, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. And the idea is these tool pieces slip on here and lock in. Now, the other advantage to these is you don't have to shim. So one of the big, you know, problems in the stock configuration of most of the mini lays is they come with a very basic tool holder and you have to shim them up and that's always a pain in the butt. The nice piece about this and I kind of get this in here is it's got this this uh, brass thumb screw that comes down and engages in the top and you can adjust this and it's got uh, you know rides on this um, uh, basically bolt here and then you can lock this in place to lock lock the two together so now when you slide this on it'll automatically be centered now I'll cover centering with you guys when I go to put this on the lathe how do you center it I'll show you over there uh, the other piece is what do you get as far as these tool holders now this general setup tool holder is a um, quarter inch to three eighths so it'll hold from a quarter inch to a three eighth inch tool and they give you different types of holders and I want to talk about the different types of holders now you can also buy more holders because the idea is to install your tool which these are the tools and I'll talk about this in a minute as well as these and then what happens is you know when you want to use them you simply pop them on your quick change tool holder ratchet that cam and boom you're locked in and you're ready to go to work I mean makes this crazy simple setup and kind of kick myself that I didn't get one of these a long time ago, but hey, I was being cheap and, you know, figured what the heck. But I do, I, I want to use this more, and I'll talk about it in future episodes why I want to use this more. Uh, but right now I just want to cover out the pieces here so there's some clarity. So, kind of long story short, if we break this up, you have, uh, I want to move the box so I get things a little bit more centered here. So you, you have basically two, 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 two tool holders, um, standard tool holders. This one is for a boring bar. For those who don't know, this is a boring bar. And then you have one for a cutoff tool. And for those that don't know, this is a cutoff tool. So what happens is uh, they give you some Allen wrenches and they also nicely enough give you some of these extra little grub screws. Um, but what I want to do is pop this open and then I kind of want to demonstrate uh, so I'm going to open this up a little bit and actually put the cutoff tool in here and kind of show you how it goes uh, 
Okay, so here you go. So I've got the cutoff tool installed and you can see it just cinches down. It's got these four bolts. Then what happens is we just, once it's on the machine, we drop it in, we cam it and it's locked in place. And then what we use is this brass screw to adjust its height to the center post and boom, we are good to go. And similar with the, um, the boring bar. So this one takes the smaller wrench and uh, so if we open this up, and boom, there you go. Now I didn't line the tool, I just stuck it in here so you could see. And then what happens is this guy goes on the front. So what happens is this reaches into whatever piece that you're working on. And so you can see this goes on the front and uh, you can just take this off and you want to go cut the part out after you've bored it out and boom you put the cut off tool so you can see really how easy this this all mates up now i also got these guys and uh, one of the things i liked about this is uh, on the cover it shows you which one does what action uh, for different cuttings now my grandfather was a machinist and I sort of learned a little bit by proxy how all this worked but it's kind of actually good to see this uh, you know in action so th these are carbide cutters and uh, so if you're rather new to machining um, you know carbide cutters so you have two basic styles of carbide cutters high-speed steel which technically that's what this is high-speed steel and then carbide um, both have their uses I like the carbide quite a bit uh, they've gotten a lot cheaper over time and so kind of nice so what happens is you get these cutters and uh, they come with their own little tool holder if you will and if I can get them out of the there packet. We go. So this piece on the end this is actually the cutter and this is the tool holder they give you this fancy little allen wrench here to actually uh, take this, these in and out because these are replaceable you can buy more of these uh, triangle shaped cutters and then simply replace them when they either break or, or dull out and so the pieces with these, again, very simple. These just drop in like this. And then what you do is you uh, bring them down. This is like pick up the Allen wrench. It's got oil. And so I'm just going to cinch one of these down just for. So, and again, boom, you've now put this in here. You go to your tool holder. You assume it's already aligned and you're ready to go. So this is, again, really a great time saver and, and not for a lot of money. And not only is it a great time saver because you can switch these in and out real quick. However, um, it's also nice that you don't have to worry about aligning your tool. You can get a better alignment with these rather than trying to find shims. You know, I, I'll confess to an ugly sin. A lot of times I would use these uh, cutoffs as shims because they come in different thicknesses for different materials and that kind of stuff you know cheat and use those for shims but this is a far nicer way far easier way the other piece inside the box we also have bolts here that actually come down through the cam mechanism into the tool holder so we'll remove the tool holder from the harbor freight machine and then install this one and we'll do that in the second series but in this series what I want to do is cover out the basics of the tool itself what you get how it works because again I, I saw a lot of questions on uh, uh, YouTube and a lot of the forms thinking you spun this and everything else and like you know what you would do is is you can mount a bunch of tools and you know you see you really can't because they they get in the way but anyways so hopefully you found this interesting I'll have the links to all this below super cheap a lot you know good stuff and if you're gonna get into uh, using the lathe um, definitely recommend it I've also seen some pieces out there where folks and this looks like it might be a little bit different than the one I saw I uh, have different, um, have come up with different bushings to go in here, which is kind of nice, and different mods. And I, I've seen, you know, people actually make their own uh, mounting brackets. Because actually, the crazy thing about this, this is was like sub 40 bucks, but to buy four of these, it's like almost the same price as buying the whole kit with the, the changer. So. Um, I don't know. If you got a good place to get these, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if not, I'll have some links to where I know to get them and where I get them from. Anyways, so hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button over there. Swag shop up there. And we'll see you in the next video where we put this on the Harbor Freight Mini Lathe. Cheers.
please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up with